Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Now today I've got uh, quite a rather special hike in store. On the map it's just around 15k with around 1100 meter ascent. Um, but the views, I'm hoping the views today, and obviously I'll share you them, uh, some may argue some of the best in the Lake District. I'm heading up to my first fell of the day, uh, which is fleet with pike. And hopefully I'm gonna take in five Wainwrights today. Oh, got a lot in store. Now I'm starting just over 300 meters, so a bit of an advantage. Fleet with pike is, what, about mid 600 meters. So yeah, this should be a good one. So quite a sharp pull out of the car park on this shingle, it's not really a shingle, gravel uh, footpath which is obviously used with tractors and lorries um, for the quarry. But yeah, quite a, a sharp pull, that's good, it warms me up, warms me up. I tell you what, there's a bit of a chill. Right, first signs of good viewpoints, I mean what, well, it's just about half eight in the morning, it could all change. My second fell of the day is the famous, let's say famous, Wainwright's resting place of it, as it was. That's Haystacks. Just see that behind me. Haystacks and there's a cloud cover just hovering above it. Then, wow, yeah. Then I'm gonna head up to High Crag, which is the highest point of the day. That is clagged in. That one about there. So yeah, and then the plan is to double back and head over this way up to Brandreth, Greynots, and head back down. That's that's the plan. It could all change, of course, depending on energy levels. But yeah. But we're looking forward to this first view. Oh God, I hope it's clear once I get to Fleetwood Pike. So the weather has changed for the worse. Swooping rain, fine rain. That coupled with quite a strong breeze. So we're now in usual Lake District territory. I'm not holding up. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not optimistic about these views. I remember last time at Fleetwood Pike, exactly the same happened then. Oh, yeah. So anyway, quickly donned the waterproofs. Uh, yeah, the rest of it, yeah, it's quite chilly. So potentially, that is a very good view. You can just make out Buttermere and Crummock water in the far distance, but rolling rain and clag. Uh, yeah, wow. Not the best conditions at all, but wow. Imagine that with some nice light. I can only imagine. Pretty disappointing if I'm honest because the forecast didn't stay. It didn't stay, it was going to be like this. It predicted sunshine up to at least 12 o'clock, so a bit disappointed. I tell you, you just can't rely on these things. Oh well, not to worry. Nice bit of water on my end, just a add to the uh, ambience. Wow, all right, looking back, facing the rain, this is, there you go, that's my next destination. Gonna drop down and up. Oh. There's no point taking a shot of this, there's just nothing there, really. Nothing there. Oh well. As soon as I turn my back to head back down, this happened. The light, the sun is just shining down. 
I've got to be really careful here because I'm perched here on top of the cairn. I'm still at Fleetwood Pike. Momentary light's gone now. And it stopped raining. I've just taken a, a shot using a 24 to 105. Zoom right in. Excluded Buttermere, but we've included Crummock and Randadale Knox on the right hand side. Just, just a bit of fair light. Grab the moment. It's, it's still going on now. Never give up. Never turn your back on things. So I've made my way down from Fleetwood Pike. The rain is intermittent. Um, I'm in a bit of a, a valley, but the, the wind is still continuing. Now you can see, or at least a clearer view of haystacks behind me so I'm going to dip down here uh, there's a nice little background it has a, a, a buffy I believe somewhere around here um, you can just mm, I say just just about to say you can just see the tops of high crags as well which slightly clagged in um, but yeah interesting still interesting I'll just sweep you around so yeah Very wet on the foot as well. That's where the light is. I'm hoping to get a reoccurrence of what happened back there on top of Fleetwood Pike, where the light just hit Randale knots. Hoping, hoping. So across the beck, and we are getting little splashes of light intermittently. There you go, ice style there. First time I've seen it's peaked today. But yeah, <laughs> no light at the moment, but believe me, there is little splashes of light. That's exactly what I'm wanting. Right, so I'm heading my way up to Haystacks. And there we go. That's a pretty decent view from here. And you've got little patches of light as well just bringing it to life some natural triangles going on from this angle looking up from Buttermere and Crummock and again Ranadale not that nice pinnacle on the right hand side simple as but very effective I believe it's clearing up. Oh yeah. So the boffy back there was Dub's boffy. The boffy with the better view is around here. Uh, Warn Scarf, I believe it's called. Uh, and yeah, from within there, there's a lovely framed view of Buttermere and Crummock water. Uh, but I'm not gonna look for that today. What I'm really looking forward to is pitching up on the haystack having something to eat just taking it all in you know where the great Alfred Wainwright's ashes are scattered they're actually scattered uh, in inanimate town there's a couple of towns uh, which we'll be seeing just adding to the jewels on offer uh, in today's hike I can see me getting the 100 to 400 out I just want to be position, I want to position myself uh, and just fire away because that's my preferred method of shooting. So looking the opposite direction to Buttermere and Crummock you've got the first time this is Black Beck Town and then you've got the wonderful Great Gable behind it. Look at that. Nice shroud of hill fog dancing around its top and you got Kirk Fell uh, yeah wonderful stuff wonderful stuff not quite a composition let me spin you around this is too too dominant in the frame I reckon and Great Gable is a bit insignificant the better option would be to be zooming in just isolate Great Gable on its Oh, let's see if I can do that now. 
some nice little light bouncing off those that hill fog right next town is anonymous town there we go anonymous town Wainwright famously said if you find a bit of grit in your boot something along the lines of be careful because you could be carrying a part of me <laughs> right I'm going to plant my bottom down and enjoy some lunch that is the top where all them people are heading or coming down from even The summit of Haystacks, he says, the scene of the cairn there. There's one there, one over there, where that is, that might be it. There's one there. The thing is, we're waiting, right? So you don't quite know which one it is, unless you uh, do your homework a bit, because it's not always the highest point of the fell. Um, thinking, oh, talking about the highest point, the intended highest point of today's walk was High Craig. Wow, it looks ominous. It is quite a pull, we've got to dip down from here and up. Only two mines, lovely light though. Only two mines. Not do it another time. I've made a decision. I'm not going to do eye crack today. Reason being, two reasons really. Energy levels, pretty low. The thing about this walk is, it's not so much the distance, but it's quite technical on foot. I'm making excuses. It's quite technical on foot. A lot of up and downs. Um, basically, got a dip down from here up to see, deep down, and then up again. So I'm just going to do it end of the day. What I'm going to do is pick my poles up and just go on a bit of adventure, explore this quite remarkable fell, get the 100 to 400 out, see what I can find. Precarious on the foot, but I'm going to plant myself here. Just look at that. See all them little patches of light? Zoom in on those with the 100 to 400, just have a little bit of fun. The thing is, with these walks, it's either predominantly the hike or the photography. So, I'm going to do a bit of both. Spend a bit more time on here. Um, the light's still going, look at that, and a deal. Illuminating pillar as well. Right, so I've come down from Haystacks. Yeah, it's quite hard work up there, quite t technical. Up and down, up and down, very craggy. Uh, I'm now on the path which uh, takes you up to Brandreth. Uh, from then, it's Grey Knots. Not sure what to expect from here, um, but there's lovely, lovely views of Great Gable. I think it's that scaffold park just peeking through there. Might be wrong at that. Don't know, but I tell you what, what what's happened with the day? Catch your minds back to fleet with Pike. The winds, the rain, poor visibility. I thought at one point it was gonna be like that for the whole of the day, but I should know better. God. I'm experienced enough to know the Lake District's weather. Yeah, it's turned out down out nice again. Oh, wow. The decision to not do eye crag 
was a wise one. My legs are jelly. Really oh, struggling here. Yeah. Uh, probably down to fat I think yeah. Right, good next kip. So yeah, good decision. Um right, Brandreth just done. Next grey knot straight ahead. Fairly level. Um still a bit technical on the foot. But yeah, that'll be four Wainwrights today. The light is it's wonderful, isn't it? It's lovely. I'll keep shooting at the 24 one of five to hand. Keep shooting. But I'll say farewell from a very tired James Burns. There's a final gallery. Yeah. Keep smiling. Bye bye for now.